Hey everyone, today we're going to make portals so that we can teleport to each island once we've unlocked it. Now you'll see that I've actually gone and made a third island just for the sake of having more um, more portals. I'm not changing the orb colours, so I'll do that now. Uh, but this just allows us to have more um, more portals to play around with, really. You, as I say, you can make as many islands as you want. You're not limited to, you know, two islands. You can make, you can make five, ten... 20, you know, you can make as many as you want. Anyway, to get started, we're going to have to design a portal. If you already have a portal um, uh, frame designed, then that's perfect. But I'm just going to quickly make a rough one. So I'm going to place down a part. I have uh, move one studs on, by the way, just to lock it to one stud. Uh, if I go into avatar, rig builder, bring in uh, R15 block avatar, I can kind of scale this to the size of a player. So if I go maybe like that, I reckon that's good. So this can be, uh, we'll scale this in like that. And maybe again, no, we can't go again. Uh, so if we just call this uh, portal, call this portal part, because we know this is the teleporting bit. And then we'll change this color to maybe a green. Uh, actually, no, we'll change it to a yellow because we're teleporting to a yellow, like a deserty island. So we'll change that to a yellow color and make the transparency maybe point maybe point two five okay now what we're going to do is duplicate this portal part um bring it out so let me put my one stud so bring it out like this and first of all first of all we're going to make this transparency zero just so it's like a solid color and i'm also going to make it a darker yellow as well because this will be the frame now duplicate this again, we'll be just basically putting parts around here, like so. And here's our portal, our desert portal. It's not very good, but it will do. So these uh, frames, we're going to rename these to portal frame, portal frame, like so. And then our portal parts in the middle. We can then uh, group all of this, control G or command G. Rename this to uh, portal 1, just call it portal 1. Uh, add or desert portal okay now we're going to duplicate this desert portal and bring it over into the desert and this will be used to teleport back to the main uh, main island so we'll rename this to from desert portal to um, home portal or something like that now we're going to grab these two actually I'm going to make all of this white so the frame will be like gray like that and the actual portal part will be white so we know it teleports us back and I'm going to grab these two group them rename it to desert portal again and then group it again and rename this to portals so now what we will have is a group called portals with a model inside called desert portal with two models inside desert portal and home portal of course you it may not be called desert portal for you it may you know it may you may not have a desert you may have I don't know something else Okay, now we're going to open our leader stats script. So under leader stats, we're going to scroll down before the upgrades, and we're going to make uh, portals. So in here we'll have local portal folder equals instance dot new, and it's going to be a folder inside of the player. Uh, portal folder dot name is going to be uh, portals, just portals. Uh, and next we're going to have an unlocked, portals unlocked um, value, which will be an integer. So every portal we get unlocked, it will increment by one, which we'll then use to correspond to the portals. You'll understand a bit later. So basically, to do this we're going to create a variable, local portals unlocked equals instance.new int value. Uh, inside of portal folder portals unlocked dot name is going to be equal to portals unlocked and the value portals unlocked dot value by default is going to be zero next we must save this so under our data store we'll have to create a local save value 10 equals player dot uh, portals dot portals unlocked save value 10 dot value equals get saved 10 add our save value 10 into here and into here player dot upgrades dot no not upgrade sorry dot portals dot portals unlocked 
dot value. Okay, now under our portals and our desert portal and our portal part, we're going to add a script. So let me just go over to this uh, this part here. Yeah, so we're going to add a script. Now in this script, we're going to say local part equals script.parent, just so we can easily access the part. Now we can say part.touched colon connect function hit. We've used this quite a few times now. So whenever the part is touched, we're going to get the player. So local player equals um, game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent. Now we'll say if player uh, and then dot if player dot or colon find first child portals, then so if portals exist inside the player. Now, if I'm bear with me here, I know this is going to seem a bit weird, but after this find first child, uh, we want to say dot p1. Then, so if player colon find first child portals dot p1, then we'll say player dots to, uh, dots. Now, if you're using r15, I think we've covered this before. Uh, r15, you have to uh, let me try and find it. I think it's under our exchange coins. Yeah, here we are. We've covered it before. So if you're under R6, you have to do the lower torso. If you're R15, you have to do humanoid root part. So I'm going to use humanoid root part. So player dot uh, humanoid root part dot C frame equals C frame dot new. And in here, we need to put some coordinates. Now, in fact, actually, I'm not going to use this because every time we do use this, uh, we fall over. Instead, I'm going to say player dot character colon move to and we need a C frame so let's go basically we want to teleport somewhere so we get this portal here uh, this home portal find the part we'll just bring it forward a few studs just so we teleport in front of the portal and copy this uh, position and then we can put the portal frame back once we've copied the position we can under our colon move to put the uh, position in here and we should be good. In fact, actually in here, we'll say vector3.new and then put the uh, coordinates in. And then once we've done that, if we hit, uh, actually we won't be able to test this yet because we don't have dot p1. So now we can close this script and actually we can duplicate it and put the duplicate one into the other portal part, this home portal, uh, because so we can teleport back. So if we open this script, now this one's a bit different. Under our part.touched, we'll have our local player. Uh, if player find first child, um, and we want to find the so we want to keep these first two lines here but rather than find first child portals we're going to find first child humanoid and we can d remove this dot p1 uh, then player dot character colon move to in fact we don't even need that if there we just need to say if player then uh, and then, then player dot character colon move to vector three dot new and this time we're going to get this vector. So let's bring this forward a few studs. Copy the position and go back. We go here. There we are. Perfect. Now I'm going to close all these portals just to collapse the word explorer a bit. Now we're going to make a slight adjustment to our base plate. So under our second island, uh, we want to find our base plate. And in that script, we're going to just drop down, ignore, leave this bit at the top because we're going to... Actually, we'll change it. So we're going to keep this if game dot players blah 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 local player player. Now before this player dot other stats, I'm just going to comment this out for a minute using two uh, minuses and drop down a line uh, under this local player. Now under here we're going to say if player dot portals. We're going to get local children equals player dot portals. Now. Bear with me, this is going to seem weird. Colon get children. Now what this will do is it will get all the children. Uh, so every uh, value under the portals folder. Because each time we unlock a new portal, we're going to add a new value to say that portal's unlocked. Now you'll see at the end, it's a bit hard to explain. But now we're going to say if hashtag children uh, equals equals one, then, so if the number of children is one, now the reason we're doing that is because we're adding one child into that in the leader stats, which is the, so let's go under here, which is the portals unlocked. So that's always going to be a child. So if that's the only child in there, then we'll have to create a new portal. So local p1 equals instance.new, ball value, 
because we want to put P1 into the um, folder once they've touched this base plate because that means they've unlocked it. P1 standing for portal 1. So if that value is inside the folder, they've unlocked portal 1. So, and this uh, is going to be inside of, um, so the parent is going to be the portals folder. So player.portals. Next we'll say p1.name equals just p1. So script.parent. Basically we want to change the portal transparency to 0.3 or 0.25 to show that it's been unlocked. So we need to find the, um, so we actually need to find this portal here. So that will be under script. Uh, dot parent is the base plate. Dot parent is um, the island two. Dot parents island two folder. Dot parent is the workspace. Dot portals. So actually, a better way would just be saying um, workspace. Dot portals. Dot uh, under portals we want desert portal. Dot uh, desert portal again. Dot portal part. Dot transparency equals zero point three. And then we'll say player dot portals dot portals unlocked dot value equals one because we've now unlocked one portal. And now after all the both these ends and if statements, uh, just before this last end, we can uh, uncomment our other stats. And that's perfect. That should now work. Okay, what we want to do now is under our data store script again, where we've got these two if statements, we will say uh, if... Um, actually we'll say local portals equals player dot portals dot portals unlocked we don't actually need anything else then we'll say if portals dot value so if portals unlocked dot value is one then we've unlocked one portal so we need to say uh, workspace dot portals dot desert portal dot desert portal uh, dot portal part dot transparency equals, I can't remember what we set it at, was it 0.25 or 0.3? They basically have the same effect, but I can't remember what one we used. Uh, 0.3 we used, so equals 0 0.3. Uh, then we'll say local p1 for portal1 uh, equals instance dot new ball value inside of uh, player dot portals and then p1 dot name of course equals p1 and that should be good actually there and then that will put so basically if our portal value is one then this will put p1 into the player which will then do the rest nicely so now we're under our portals we can actually go to our desert portal and make this portal part transparency of one because we don't want to be able to touch it now if we hit test and play here you will see uh, so we've actually got uh, a few errors here. So attempt to index nil with find first child. So that's saying basically our, I think it means our player doesn't exist. So what we need to say first is if player then. And then wrap that into there. So open up the script the error is coming from. Put if player then first. Because that will stop all those errors. So now if we hit play. You'll see we touch it, nothing's happening. P1 is not a valid member of portals. Uh, it'd help if I actually anchored the. Um, make sure you anchor your portals as well. So I'm going to uh, home anchor test play. There we go. So nothing's happening. Uh, I'm actually going to turn can collide off on the portal parts as well. So this is just playing around with it, getting everything nice. So you select both portal parts, can collide off. So we can just go straight through them. Now, see, when we run up to this, nothing's happening. We're getting an error. P1's not a valid member. Now, we can stop this. We can put colon find first child P1, but we don't need to do that. If we were to now, in fact, I'm going to fix it. So, let's just stop the script. Uh, open up our desert portal. And just do colon find first child P1. And this will stop all those random errors if P1 doesn't exist. So now if we touch it, no errors. Uh, if we go and unlock it, so that's it, it should now be unlocked. So let's go back to the main island and you'll see it's it's here so we can go through and it's all good. We're now teleporting to and from these islands. Now if we were to stop and hit play again, this island should have saved. So let's click play here. It should have saved and it has, we can go through it and it's all perfect. 
Now to do this for the third island, I'm going to go cover this very quickly because it's not very hard. We're going to duplicate our desert portal, rename this to my third island's uh, winter, so winter portal. So uh, we've got our desert portal here, I'm going to rename to winter portal. To move this over a little bit like that, just change the uh, portal frame color to maybe a uh, dark white. And the actual portal part will also be a white. Next, under this script, this will be if player uh, if find first child P2, and we're going to move to a different location. So let's get our home portal, um, and we're going to move this home portal over into the winter area, which is about here. And then we're going to grab the uh, portal part, move it forward a few studs, copy the C frame position, put it back then paste that C-frame position into here. Now as for this portal part script, um, we don't need to change anything because we're teleporting to the main island again, so we don't need to change anything there. So that's all of that. Under this, we're going to duplicate this script and put it into island free base plate. Uh, we can delete this old script here. So the world boost will be free in here. Portals unlocked will be equal to two. This will be P2. And this will be if number of children's two, because of course you can't get to the third island without having unlocked the second island. Now that all looks good to me. Now we're going to go into leader stats. Uh, no, sorry, we're not. We're going to go under data store um, and get if portals dot value equals two, then uh, so first of all we need to get our um, uh, our p one value and. We also need to get the um, P2 value. So this will be workspace.portals.winterportal.winterportal.portalpart.transparency.3. Uh, P2, P2, P2. Um, everything looks good there. Now if we were to test this. Sorry if I'm going through this quite fast. It's just because this video is getting quite long. Um, if you do need any help with this, just join our Discord and I'll happily help there. So you'll see we can't go through this one, we can go through this one. As soon as we unlock this other island here, uh, you'll see it goes to three times. We can go back. There we go, or oh, we should be able to go back. This actually teleported us in front of this portal, but you can change that yourself if you want. It's not not crazy. And this actually hasn't um, changed the transparency here, but we can now go through it. So let me stop, figure out what's going on with our transparency. So it looks like we're not changing the transparency of the right thing. So under base plate of Island 3, uh, that's because we're changing it. So we want dot winter portal, dot winter portal, dot portal part, dot transparency. Now it should work for it to hit play and you'll see it does and it saves as well. So that's both our portals done. So I hope you found this video helpful everyone. Sorry if I went through this quite quick. It's just because I'm aware that this video is getting a bit longer than usual. Um, if you do need any help with this, please let me know um, in the comments and I'll try and respond to all the comments. I'll try my best. Um, however, I can't promise that. So if you join our Discord server, you can find the link in our description. Uh, we will help as soon as possible there. We try and help every single person on Discord just because it's easier to manage than YouTube. Uh, so please, if you are struggling, join our Discord and we'll help you over there. But I hope you found this video helpful, everyone. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.